Okay, workbench time. Have a minute of workbench for a hot minute. Can I upgrade this purple weapon at all? I can. This Quen? Quen? That's Queen, but spelt wrong? Weapon excels at delivering acid payloads that corrode enemy armor. It can be upgraded to deal more damage when fired while sliding or in midair. That's interesting. Overdraw damage? Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. It gets three weapon coil slot. Dude, I can't wait to have all purple weapons. Ooh, baby. I want them. Okay, well, uh, we have plenty of all of the things it's asking for. It's also just going to make every weapon slightly better. I love this. I can't wait to get this thing to tier 5. I like that the uh, higher tier weapons have more upgrade tiers to them. I don't have any green shine clusters. That's a rare get. Okay. So we can't get that new slot yet. Or this extra damage up. I'm glad that we could get the overdraw damage on it though. I really look forward to using this blast sling. I didn't use blast sling very much in Zero Dawn. But I feel like with having more weapon slots open, I'm more open to using them. Definitely the anchor rope caster is new. We should upgrade it at least once, if not twice. Just to make it better. Uh, don't have a Bellaback sack webbing. Stalker stealth generator. Why? What? How does the stealth generator help this? Overdraw damage! I love overdraw damage. Uh, dude, these purge water harpoons seem insane. I look forward to using this new rope caster. Oh, we already have the stuff for tier 3, unless I use the stalker circulator on something else. Need a lot of stuff for the level 4, but we if we get a Bellaback sack webbing, if we run into a Bellaback, I should try and get a sack webbing off of it, because we can take this straight up to level 3 if it's good enough. Although, now that I already have a very rare weapon, I'm kind of like, mm, are you sure you want to use stuff on your blues? Definitely, I don't think I upgrade any green stuff anymore. If I, if I have any green stuff, oh, I need sack webbing from a lot of stuff for this. Like any any like green weapons are worthless. I should I should be like full on blue we or blue weapons or purple at this point. We still have this green weapon because it's our only way to do fire damage. But like we have another use for acid now, so if we can get another like fire weapon, we can kind of like we can replace this sorta. I also want a higher level spike thrower. I would love to get another like high tier spike thrower. All right, well this has been very good. I'm really looking forward to this blast sling, and and it's not even like, it's only plus one level, it's got four more levels to go. It's a purple tier weapon, we'll be using that for like the rest of the game, presumably, unless they've added a new tier to levels. I know in uh, in the, uh, for the Frozen Wilds DLC, there were purple weapons that also had like yellow highlights. Or no, that wasn't Frozen Wilds DLC, that was the, uh, that wasn't the Frozen Wilds specifically, that was, there were some of those in Frozen Wilds as well, but the, uh, it was still in the base game too, the, um, the hunting lodge had the purple weapons that had the yellow highlights that were like slightly better than even purple ones. Maybe there will be some of those in this game. You wanted to speak to me? The name's Zoka. Have you heard from up north? From Bleeding Mark? I'm guessing that's a place. One of the desert's villages. They send their yield of ash blood so the Bereka over there can mark the skin of our soldiers. But it's been a long time since the last supply run. Too long. If you think something happened to them, can't you send someone to go check? Were it up to me. But with everyone fuming about our water rations, the commander can't spare any soldiers. My face paint will strike fear in your enemies. Take a look. Oh, this is actually like, when it said trade, it was like I could purchase from you. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought that that was like a dialogue thing. I'm gonna be honest with you. I really just, uh, I don't know, face paint just, uh, I, I do like the lipstick on that one. But, uh, face paint on Aloy just doesn't, it doesn't do it for me. I, I, I don't like Aloy with face paint, to be real with you. You mentioned the village up north sends some supplies to the capital. Ash blood? It's a crimson stone that we grind into powder for our ink. Bleeding Mark has the largest supply. Our soldiers there gather and deliver it to us, in exchange for their water rations. Die for water. Everyone in the clan depends on the wound in the sand for their water. Capital and outlying village alike. But the last delivery of ash blood was weeks ago. Our supply is running low. So must be their water. That sounds dangerous. If I'm out that way, I can look in on the village. Find out what's the delay. You have my thanks. 
Head north to a ruin where the desert meets the mountains. That's Bleeding Mark. Ask for Kentok or Natika there. They'll know what's going on. The Deluge. That's a level 15 quest. Okay. Straight up here? Oh, it's over near where uh, What's-Her-Face was. Okay. We can fast travel up there and go down, get that black box, and go get the deluge as well. We also eventually need to go take out this rebel outpost. Dude, dude there's just so much to do in this game, man. It's insane. What is... Oh, that's the gauntlet run, right. Gauntlet runs are cool. I like them. Man, we're gonna end up, like, clearing out this entire, uh, salt bite. What a place. We're gonna end up clearing out all of the, uh... All of the clouds from here before I'm able to get whatever I need to get this tall neck <laughs> at this rate. Uh, okay, well, let's talk to, uh, J Jataka then. Gliding? I'm gliding. I'm happy place. Hey there. Why put guards around the wound? You can't just take away our water. The wound gives less water. Our rations adjust. What's going on? We know the way of the desert. What's stopping us from taking what we want? And uh... <clears throat> Anyone else want to complain? We're the desert clan. We survive with what we have. Your uh, commander's not much for handholding. That is not our way. Even less so in her case. Shall we? Sure. Can't wait. Fun, fun. She's with me. Drak is not the only one with harsh words for your commander. The desert has bred survival into our clan's blood. We spit at death and charge into battle. Maybe a little too eagerly. So that... That chick was the one in charge of, like, all of the desert clan? Like, uh, the Sky Clan leader dude? And Hikaru is the chief of everything, but also your the leader of... Your grown since I saw you last. The leader of whatever? Of Lowland? Yeah, where are we going to have this conversation? You took down the bulwark, defended the grove, and saved the life of our chief. I'm a gamer. I'm hoping you've got enough left for one more miracle. What do you need? Don't call it a miracle. You'll find out soon enough. It's just me being me. Hi! So, this is the outlander that bested Regala. And now she conspires with the dissident Draka. Demanding water does not make one a dissident, Yara. Doesn't make Draka a commander either. You should advise him of that. Jataka said you needed help. Did he now? Aloy has a unique insight into the ways of the old ones. She might be able to fix this before it gets out of hand. Get to the point. What is Jataka talking about? There is no water. What do you mean? I mean the wound in the sand that which provides the clan with the water we need to survive is completely dry. That, uh... That does uh, sounds like a problem. This water source. Jataka said it's somehow related to the old ones? From what we can tell, whatever water we take, it restores on its own. Over time. A few weeks ago, it stopped. I ordered rationing, searched for other viable sources. But everything else nearby is tainted one way or another. But why the secrecy? Keeping your people in the dark seems to be making things worse. If the clan knew, my command would be challenged. There's no water, and you're worrying about keeping your command? Think what you want. Between the machines, the storms, and Regala's uprising, I'm the only thing keeping this clan from falling apart. Dude, you could straight up see, like, the sweat coming off of Aloy because of how hot it is here in the desert. The graphic attention to detail in this game is astounding. Draka said your clan won't touch Regala. Her grudge is with Chief Hakaro, not me. And I plan to keep it that way, so her troops don't turn on my clan. Besides, if she defeats Hakaro, she deserves to rule. That's the way of the tribe. 
Draka's people sacrificed a lot to get that water. He thinks you're hoarding it for yourself. The perfect excuse to challenge my command. Like he's always wanted. Of course, he makes it sound very noble. That he only cares about his thirsty people. But all he really wants is to be in charge. And if he was, he'd face the exact same problem I have. There is simply not enough water to go around. So how are you going to deal with not having any water? Ration what little we have. Buy time to fix the wound. And in the meantime, people die of thirst? Every corpse weighs on me. That is what it means to be a commander. What matters is that the clan survives as a whole. But do you like have a plan to fix it though? I can't promise anything, but if this wound was built by the old ones, I might be able to fix it. How exactly do you intend to do that? Just show her the wound, Yara. Very well. You can tell me when we get there. After you. The wound in the sand is this way. Oh, we're going right now. All right, let's go. You're not Karja or Osiron. I was born amongst the Nora, as far east as you are west. I've heard of your people. They say only those who are exiled leave your lands. There are exceptions. What business does a Nora exception have in the West? Believe it or not, to help people, even the ones who don't want it. Sounds like a difficult path. Yeah, you know, life is rough. This is it. The wound in the sand. Oh, it's down here. Definitely built by the old ones. Focus should show me more. Is it just, it's just a well? Hi there. Oh, down beneath. Hello. Leading outside the settlement. What do you see? A trail. Hmm, interesting. Says it's a cold water tank? Did it, like, just run out of what water? Or is it pulling from somewhere they got the stuck? wound leads underground. We've tried going down there, but it's too narrow for anyone to reach the bottom. Where are you going? I think I'm I can follow where the water comes from. Oh, I used to. How? Does it matter? What matters is that the wound is fixed and my people survive. Then shut your mouth! The way. I'll take us there. I was wondering if doing a pulse would get more to show up, but you gotta do a full focus. Who keeps letting this ridgewood like grow inside of other things? Come on now. We got over 800 in the stash. We have to get enough Ridgewood to, like, be able to take over the planet. One million Ridgewood in the stash is necessary. Machine. Unknown Sunwing site, huh? Yeah, just ignore them. They're not part of this. I'll stash this away for later. I did need some Sunwing stuff for something or other, didn't I? For trading or something? Oh, man, this pipe goes far. What the heck? Boop. 69. Nice. We are going way up here. Dude, we're gonna, we're gonna like, oh, are those the sun wings? I don't think we've encountered a sun wing yet. The crown's wet too. The vein must have leaked here. Not enough to be the cause of the missing water, but enough for these plants to grow. We're on the right track. You see all that from a patch of wet sand? Yep. Leak against water, huh? That makes sense. I kind of want to kill these fools. There's only two of them. I've never fought a Sunwing. Plasma's wasted against that machine. Apparently, they use plasma. Contains valuable resources destroyed when killed. Ooh, well, tag that. Tag it on that one, too. Key upgrade resource? Well, I mean, like, they're on the ground right now. I can't tell if it's looking at me or not. No, they're looking the other way. They have long beaks. Its wings look like they can catch the sunlight. Probably a fast flyer, too. I'm gonna stab it. 
Oh, is the Sunwing, is that like the pterodactyl thing in the image I got on my thumbnail? Silent Strike! That was not what I should have shot. I should have shot that. Don't take off! No! Dude, these pterodactyls look so sick. Hello! Oh my goodness, alright. They are, they are super plasma lads. Yeah, I want that off. Sir, please. Sir, please. That gets destroyed when you die. I need it. That's a plasma rock. Okay, that immediately plasmed me. I don't know what being plasmed means. That is such a narrow thing to aim at. I am still all plasmed up. Still don't know what that's going to do to me. Oh, dear. Everything is fine. What are you doing? Stop it. Hey, it knocked that off. Nice. And it died. Oh, she, uh, she got wrecked. No ammo. Oh, I knocked that off. Let's go. Let's go. I would like to knock off one of your little side thingies. Oh, it, it was coming at me. I did not realize it was coming at me in that moment. Drinking that. Hey, bud. You got, like, cool little mini shields you bring up there, huh? Take that off. Please. All right, left arm, left arm, left arm. Keep aiming at the left arm. Keep aiming, keep aiming at the left arm. Oh, I put up a shield at the worst possible time. Oh, dear. Nope. Okay. Oh, I took it off. Let's go. All right, taking off the right arm would be also pretty pog. I don't, I don't understand what plasma does or what it means. That's totally new to Forbidden West. It's got a rock. Oh, I, I let it. I let it. I'm a genius. What is it doing? Dude, Sunwings are so cool. I want one. Hey, could you, like, give me an opening to hit that thing? You know what? Load me up on arrows. And then if it can just get back on the ground and give me... Oh, I ran right into that. And give me a moment to... Oh, where is it going? Oh, it's gliding at me. That was cool. Yes, get on the ground. No, don't get back up. Oh, it's attacking me. Heal, 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 heal faster. Heal faster. I'm scared. I'm scared. There we go. It didn't come off. It still didn't come off. You're kidding me. I got it. Let's go. Ow. Okay. Sunwings, chat. They are, uh... They sure are something, huh? Ooh, boy, I hope I got a lot of those parts. I'm pretty sure I knocked a lot of it off. Got some crystal braiding. That's a pretty high-tier material in the first game. Yeah, shield caster, okay. Where'd I down the other one? Like, oh man, I gotta go over the battlefield for all these pieces I knocked off now. All right, well, fighting those was pretty fun. We need more medium health potions. I know I bought some small health potions just a little bit ago, but we should probably start going with, uh... We should probably start going with exclusively medium... Oh, you're stuck my throat. Uh, medium health potions. For the foreseeable future. Uh, I thought I had knocked off another shield thing somewhere... But maybe I didn't. Maybe I only got the two. Oh, wait, no. I think it was it was two resource containers. I got the resource container on both of them. And I think I only got... I got both of the shields on the other thing, but none on the other. So I think two is right. All right, cool. Well, I'm glad we uh, got those materials for the future then.